Okay, now what we're about to do is uh, load a MIDI file here. Okay, this is called Well Done. It's by Ty Tribbett and uh, GA. This is by Paris Bohms. He's the uh, former MD of uh, Ty Tribbett. And uh, he was gracious enough to uh, lend his services on one of the songs. So um, that's free with the uh, purchase of MIDI keys. So we just take the MIDI file right here. And we just drag it to the player. Okay. We double click. We watch it load. It actually loads into memory. All right. It's loading into memory. And it's playing. One of the things you'll notice about MIDI keys is it automatically detects the BPM and depending on the type of MIDI file it will automatically detect the key. So we, okay let's listen to it, let's turn it up. Let's pause it, let's pause it here. Okay, what key does this sound like it's in? We have to uh, hit the panic button just in case the keys are, because remember the sustain pedal was there, so we stopped it dead midstream of a MIDI file. So let's play it one more time. Now what I'm trying to do is start and stop it with the space bar, but it's not doing it. So what I have to do is go into preferences, and I have to disable, enable QWERTY keyboard. When I have QWERTY keyboard enabled, it allows me to use the keyboard to play instruments, but when I disable it, the transport functions with the spacebar start and stop at, uh, is engaged. So let's see what key this song is in. All right, that looks like a almost an E flat major, so it kind of looks like the key is an E flat, which it is. Let's just hit this. Uh, right there to disengage and this panic button just kinda releases the notes so if we know that the key is in the key of E flat the song is in the key of E flat we switch it to E flat now the first time you change this will actually change the key to E flat okay so now we're in E flat let's begin to play the song again and I don't quite like that sound so I'm going to switch to a Rhodes. Yeah, that's a lot better. Ooh. Ooh, let's stop that. I love those chords. So let's take the BPM down to about 80. All right, let's rewind it a little bit. It's rewinding. That's the chord. I just hit the space bar so I can capture that chord and stop it. Look at that chord. It's almost like a, wow, it's like a B, uh, B major ninth or something like that. So he kind of changed key, key, keys on me and went to almost an F sharp. I don't like those sharps and flats being displayed that way. So I'm going to go with my preferences and I'm going to say, let's display everything in the flats. Okay, now let's go forward. Remember, I slowed it down. Nice. So in E flat, what if I wanna? I haven't. I'm just learning. I haven't quite learned the key of E flat, and I want to learn this song in the key of C. Let's take this down to C major, and let's see what it sounds like. See, it did it. You know what? I'm in the mood for the color green. I want to see both the left and right hands in green. So let's change this to green. Eh, didn't quite like green. Let's change them both to blue. Now 
I can't tell the left and the right hand. So let's put the left hand in blue. Let's put the right hand in red. And let's change the split key to maybe C3. That's a lot better. see what it looks like in the key of A flat. Woo! Uh oh, right, let me get that chord, let me get that chord. Let's rewind this. Let's rewind it, it's rewinding. There we go. And let's play it. There it is. Look at that chord. Wow. Paris, you're an awesome dude, man. Awesome chord. So I can rip every one of his chords that I would like. And the good thing about it is that the note names are right above the keys. Makes it very easy. And a sustain pedal allows you to see, you know, the movements and how to really sustain um, some of the notes. And as you can see, all the labels are over uh, everything. So when I go over here, play, stop. Uh, we haven't enabled record yet. Beginning, rewind, sustain pedal, um, mixer. So everything is pretty much uh, labeled with um, with these little taglines here. All right. So that's how to play a MIDI file and rip chords from somebody.